Alright Procrastinauts, my name's Baborian and welcome to Season 4 of the Procrastinato Elder Space Program or a little bit racist, but I don't give a shit. Welcome back. It's the start of a new series. Oh, I'm super excited. And I bet you guys are too, for those of you who've actually stuck around with the channel this long. For, for that, I can only say thanks. I've noticed I've also had a recent influx of subscribers, so welcome to the channel. There's not been anything new in a while, but don't worry. That's all going to change. We're going to just go ahead and boot up this little favourite of mine right here. And I'm going to go ahead and reload the Procrasta career. So I suppose I should go ahead and explain what the fuck it is I'm actually doing today. Or rather over the course of the series. Or rather this season, should I say. Um, as you can see now, we're here in version 24.2, I believe it is. And it's been a while since I've last played this game. The game's changed a hell of a lot. We now have career mode implemented partially. We've got... Um, Let's see, have I played the game since the crew stuff has come in? The uh, astronaut complex? I don't know if I have, it's been a while, I'll have to check. But anyway, this season is all going to be about the career mode and my uh, attempt at trying to conquer the universe, eventually having bases on every single planet and achieving dominance over the Kerbal system. Uh, maybe one day even going to the galaxies beyond, but that will come in time. Um, for this little outing of KSP, I've got myself a shit ton of mods. I go through them all, but God's honest truth, I can't remember what they all are, so I'm going to go ahead and reveal off what I do remember. For realism, we've got Deadly Reentry, uh, we've got Nier, we've got Tac Life Support, and I'm pretty sure there's something else as well, but I can't quite think what it is. Oh yeah, I got the Clouds and City Lights mod as well, so that's four I can reel off. Um, the rest I don't really know. Oh yeah, um, We've got Final Frontier involved, which is uh, basic. Uh, basically that's like a little Kerbal achievement, so to speak. So like, your favourite pilot will get like little awards and ribbons. I tried to do something like that in the previous series, but it didn't really stick too long and I kind of gave it up. But uh, that'll, that'll make that doing that again a hell of a lot easier. What else have we got? Um, I've got procedural fairings. Uh, I've got ScanSat. I think I've got the um, the monitors for IVA mode, so that could be fun. Uh, what else? I've got a science bin. Oh, there's fucking loads. There's just loads in here, and they're all designed to make the game a bit harder than the base vanilla game. The reason for this is because I'm 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 not gonna lie. I'm I'm, I'm blowing my own trumpet here, sucking my own dick. I'm I'm pretty damn good at this game. I wouldn't say I'm I'm amazing, but I am pretty good. So I need to make it a little bit harder for myself, a little bit more challenging. So I threw together this like this whole little mob pack, if you will, to try and give me the chance to fuck things up royally and maybe make you guys laugh a little bit. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. So today's mission, it will be the first mission for the Procrastor Career, Procrastinaut Space Program, Procrastinaut Thingy Me Bob. So I think we should go ahead and check out our new little fucking goodie building here, Mission Control. So let's see, what am I going to do today? You know what I am going to do? First off the bat, we're going to go ahead, we're going to go to our old friend, the VAB, and we're just going to go and throw a pod down, and we're going to launch. Because, for some reason, the first tech tree, the first science tech tree is dog shit. It's fucking terrible. So I'm going to go ahead and get myself some really cheap and nasty scummy science. Uh, just to get myself some extra parts. Now, what do we do? We do a crew report. Yeah, you observe your observations about the current situation. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do an EVA report. Let's hang on the side because it is a most precarious situation. You are right, Jebediah. And we're going to take a surface sample. A surface is child. Well, you already know all this. You've seen me do this before. I'm going to go ahead, climb back in the pod, and with the magic of point 0.24, we're going to head and recover the vessel. Simples. Now, one of the new little features that I quite like with this update is that we get the little summary of the screen. So we have won some stuff here. We've got a crew report, we've got some um, surface sample, and we got a EVA report. We also managed to recover the pod and all its constituent resources. And we also got Jeb back. Welcome back. We gained 25 reputation. We gained 600 credits. So that puts us back up to 10,000. We didn't lose anything. And we got 16.1 science. Can't be bad. 
cannot be bad at all. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this. I'm going to go to our friend, the research center. Let's see. First things first, we're going to go ahead and do that. So that's five science. And how much do these cost? 15, 18, 20. Nips. Right, okay. Sod it. We'll just go ahead and we'll build ourselves a rocket. Now, I won't be taking any quick saves. I won't be doing any revert back to the VABs. If we lose a crew member or a mission goes sour for whatever reason, that's it. I, I fucking fucked me myself in the arse there. That is it. I'm, I'm not going back. I, there needs to be some sort of a... What's the word I'm looking for here? Consequence to my actions, as it were. So, I'm going to pick that one because that one's easy. We're going to launch a new vessel. Obviously, it's a good one to pick because it's easy. Set altitude of record of... 5,000 meters, I can do that. And we're going to go ahead and escape the atmosphere. I'm not going to orbit Kerbin just yet. Not quite yet. So I'm going to go ahead and close this nonsense. I'm going to go to the VAB and build a rocket proper. Uh, so, first things first. We're going to get that on. We are going to... Oh, we need heat shields. We... Well, actually, I don't think we do need heat shields at this stage because we're only doing, like, low orbit flights. Even... Then we won't be doing full orbits, we'll be coming straight back down again. Ah, the Procrastinaut logo. It's nice that I have that back, I actually put the time and effort into make it again. I mean, it doesn't take long, it takes two seconds. But, for the last video that I did, the Season 3 wrap-up, I kind of just like hap-dashed once again. It wasn't even the right colour. But I thought I was going to change it, because why the fuck not? But in the end, I just chose against it. Alright, I'm going to move you up be up a stage. Now for the base, I'm just going to go ahead and make this nice and simple. Um, yep, there we are. That's nice and simple. And that's literally going to be our rocket. I think I'm going to also put on one of these radially attached science bins. Uh, we're going to put it on the side of the rocket here. That way, I can now take a couple of these with me. I'm going to take, take two because it's always good to have two. And then, when we actually go to ditch our bottom stage, instead of losing the data or having to transmit, I can put the data in that bin right there. And we should be able to get full science rewards. But this relies entirely on me actually bringing the craft back and getting the science in the first place. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. This won't be the first time I've attempted this. I mean, I didn't record it, but I did try to attempt this to see how this mod packet would work. And, well, I fucked things up, to say the least. Just a little bit. And I lost my pilot on my first flight. <laughs> what can I say? It's great to be back. But, uh, yeah. I, where, where was I going with all that? Shit, I, I completely brain farted on all of what I was just saying. Oh, well, we're just going to give a craft a name. Our very first craft, it needs a good name. It needs to be something that resounds through the space program and is remembered through the ages. Like, we all know the name of the Apollo and uh, whatnot. So, I'm going to go ahead and give it a name that sticks. Don't know what that is. I know. Everybody should have one. The victory wank. Yes, I am more than happy with that. Perfect. Right, let's go ahead and launch. We're all set now. There is one thing that I have not considered at this moment in time, but I don't really need it, and that is the life support. You see, um. We now have to deal with the fact that our Kerbals breathe, eat, piss and shit. So, we have to deal with those resources responsibly. We have to supply them with the, with the base resources to live, and then we have to get rid of the resources that they produce. So, we're going to tackle that a little bit later when we start doing longer missions, like more, more into it sort of missions. You know what I mean. Things like going to the moon or doing extended orbits around the surface. 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, I'm not fucking around. I'm not waiting. Um, but yeah, so we'll come to the life support stuff in a bit. Now, the pod itself actually has some base resources. It has a uh, storage for food, water, and oxygen, and also for dirty lung air, waste, and wastewater, which is basically piss and shit. And maybe empty crisp bags, and maybe sweet wrappers, and, and empty Werber's originals, and stuff like that. You get the idea. I'm just talking bollocks because that's what I love to do. And there's one thing that I've just realised. Now, because I have the Near mod installed, which, if you're not familiar, is Far's little brother. Far's bastardised, retarded little brother. And it's basically 
a far for idiots like myself because I can't be fucked with all that control surface and graph nonsense. It's just it's just not my cup of char. So um, I'm going to go ahead and like use its easier version. Now I say easier version, but the thing is here, it's it's still quite realistic. And I, one problem that I do run into is that I can't you can't launch a rocket and just belt it into the air as fast as you want. Oh, no siree. If you get shit wrong in this, it will tell you about it and it will kick you right in the sphincter and tell you to go do it again and probably tax you a bit of your money and your kerbal along the way. There have been like several launches where I've been testing near out where I've just I've just gravity turned far too early. I mean, I'm not gravity turning early, early enough now, so that's going completely to tits really, isn't it? But um, I've done it where I've done the gravity turn far too early and the rocket's just got but on its arse, put it straight back at the floor. Poor Jebediah, poor Bob, poor Bill, and poor Manfred as well, because he got it as well. Poor little bastards. Ugh. Yeah. I like the realism mods. They make you fuck up from time to time, but I don't know if that's what's going on here. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick observation of the Mistorion Gru. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Why the chaff not? Alright. Orbit. Right, yep, yeah, I'm happy with this. We still got a little bit of fuel. I'm gonna go ahead and accelerate to burn it all off, pick ourselves up some speed. And um, we don't need to be at full throttle, we really don't, because this engine has got quite a lot of power. It's gonna have even more power on the next run. So get ready for the stage. Nice. Happy days. And yeah, we're just gonna leave it here and hope for the best. Now, how are we doing on power? Because electric is one of those things that likes to screw me in the fucking ass, and I mean big time. I mean big time. It doesn't even buy me dinner or anything. But uh, shit, we now we haven't reached out of orbit yet. Have we? Oh no, we have. Good time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and carry on thrusting. Where was I? What was I saying? Oh yeah, electricity. It's bollocks because you don't unlock batteries like until the next tech node. I think it might be the tech node after that. So you're kind of like stuck with doing these really shit short missions and having to rely on your bloody engines to charge up your battery in your pod. Really fucking knocks me off that does because like the amount of times that I've run out of electricity, pod doesn't work, Jebediah suffocates. Oh man, terrible, 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 terrible things. But hopefully none of that will be happening today. Time warp this biznitch. Get ourselves up to 70,000. Right, we're, up, we're actually out the atmosphere now. I'm going to take a mystery goo sample. Yep, we get the picture and I'm going to go ahead and take a... Oh no, 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 no. I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to go ahead and EVA. And we're going to go and collect the datums from these things. Let's get close enough. Collect data. Yep. Not sure why the machine breaks, why these things are like a really shit Kodak disposable camera. Uh, no, we're not going to store the experiments. We need to go get the other one as well. Uh, nice and slowly, nice and slowly. Collect the data. Perfect. I can see the game doing auto saves. That's not what I want to happen. Right, turn the lights on. I can't see fucking shit. Uh, store those experiments. Perfect. Perfectissimo. EVA report, my friend. That should do nicely. Turn your lights off. We don't want to use as much power. Because this power will be returned once we actually get back in the pod. If I can get back in the pod. Oh, I can get back in the pod. We. Perfect. So, we're going to take a crew report. Nice. I cannot argue with that, and we're pretty much at the highest part of our orbit now. Oh no, we fuck. Um, not happy about coming out on the dark side of the planet. Uh, I'm going to try and do something about it, what little fuel I've got left. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do much, but it's worth a shot. Like a shot in your mouth, you dirty bastard. Reference. Bastards. I did not last long. Right, fuck it. Hopefully the boost off the decoupler will be able to help me out and give me a bit of a bit of a shortening velocity. Mm. Nah, not really. Oh well. Pod's ready. Uh, we've got to make sure we protect that from burning up. So I'm going to try and keep myself faced up this way. And the pod will be running entirely on its own power now. 
And here we go, fucking that. I need to do some. I need to learn how to do something about this. Maybe in post processing later, I'll piss around with the gamma set and see if I can do something for you guys. But for me, I, I, I hate this. Maybe I should have planned out more. Maybe I should have actually gone for the Achieve Orbit around Kirby and stuck a bit of a bigger fuel tank on this. But uh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind indeed. Alright, you do that and let the SAS do its thing. Hopefully I can keep myself that way up and it's not going to bend upside down. Because the last thing I want is my science data to disappear. Because I need the science data. I need that stuff, man. Oh. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely burning up effects. How are we doing on temperature? Keep an eye on this. Yeah, we should be able to do this quite nicely. I mean, the descent isn't too major. And we are starting to cool down, but the ablative... Ablative? 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 I'm not too sure how you say that. Um, ablative shield is going down quite fast. It's going down really fucking fast, actually. Uh, I could do a you stop. Yeah, it's stopping. That's not bad. But we are coming in at like Mach 2. Yeah, roughly about Mach 2 when I said it, yeah. We can't be bad. I don't know what the exact number is, but I know it's like, like isn't it 333 meters per second for Mach 1? So I assume Mach 2 is double. I know you shouldn't assume, but I don't give a fuck. I do not give a shit. Have I got the... Yeah, I have. I have got the fucking monitors installed. Shit. I completely forgot. Uh, I don't think there's anything I can really look at. Scansat seems to be doing a bit of a job. Uh, I do like that, having the map screen. I don't like how it... Oh, no, I don't like that. Ugh. Oh, shit, yeah, um, parachute. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have been paying attention. Oh, well, never mind. I think for the time being this mission could be safe provided the parachute doesn't snap off. I'm not going to time warp because I don't trust it. I don't trust it at all. Well, there we are. Now I can time warp. Ah, Jebediah Kerman. Welcome back. Congratulations, you were also the first Kerbal into space. And we will go over that more when I get to boot up Final Frontier at the end of this little mission. Oh, why was stop, slow down. Go, fast, now, stop. Perfect. Turn your sass on, keep yourself nice and upright, and recover the vessel. Jebediah Kerman, Maniger, first Kerbal into space. Let's see. So, crew report, while in space near Kerbin, we've, we've got some science, 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 we've got 69. Ha <laughs> ha, 69. I'm immature, but that's funny. And we also got like 49, 90, yeah, that number, <laughs> 49 grand, 998. Um, now, I'm not sure how it awards money. I'm, I'm assuming that would have been mostly through the fucking contracts. Yeah, we get the yeah, 29 grand for that. I think these may need a bit more balance. Oh, that one didn't give us any money. Just give us a load of uh, rep. Oh, no, it did give us money. It just didn't give us anything else. And we even got five science for launching a new vessel. Not bad. 69.1. Why the point one? That's very strange. Anyway, let's check out Jebediah's little thing. So this is Final fr Frontier. This is a good little mod, this is. if you, Some of you will remember the ribbons, like I was talking about earlier. And basically, that's what this is. Um, I forget who designed the ribbon. I don't, I'm not sure if it's the mod creator. I don't think it is. But nah. Um, yeah, so Jebediah completed one mission. He got... First Kerbal in space ribbon. Nice. Award for being the first Kerbal in space. No, no shit. First EVA in space. Dangerous EVA ribbon. Award for executing an EVA while not in a stable orbit. Yeah, that's not bad. The Mach 3 ribbon. Award for flying horizontally at Mach 3 below 13,000 meters in Kerbin atmosphere. Would that have been when I came it in? Fucking belting it in. First Kerbin surface EVA ribbon. <laughs> bullshit. First Kerbin EVA ribbon. Bullshit. G Force. 4 ribbon, awarded for a acceleration of at least 4G in at least 3 seconds or 8 seconds, I can't quite read that, it looks like 3. Splashdown ribbon, awarded for splashdown of a vessel in water. Some of those are some shit ribbons, man. Yeah. <laughs> what were you doing? Fucking just like making up ribbons at the end. But no, I'm happy that Jebediah's got some ribbons, that's pretty good. That gives him a bit of a, what's the word I'm looking for? 
I don't want I, 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 the word in my mind is backstory, but it's not backstory, is it? It gives them it gives them person no, it's not personality either. It gives them something that the Kerbals never had before. All they need now is voices, really. And proper personalities, that'd be pretty good. But anyway, enough of that. I think it's time to end this episode on a success. Thank you guys for joining me. We will be back very shortly with episode two of season four. But it won't be called episode two. It'll be called, it'll be in the in the canon on on lology of the previous episode. So yeah. Anyway, guys, cheers for watching. I'll catch you all in a bit. Peace out.